Welcome back everyone. So today I'm going to be making the second part of the first part. So that's why you, the reason you're seeing part 1.2. Um, in this, the, the reason I decided to make this is because I just want to make sure that we are clear on the steps that they're taken in this whole process of communicating. Um, and also introduce you to the asynchronous calling uh, and communication with the server. So in this video, I'm going to erase this and I'm going to also install Toaster, which is just to prompt the final notification. The way you install that is with these two commands, you import this into app module and you provide a style for the Toaster. It's basically the notification, which you'll see later. So. To begin with, I'm going to actually put those two functions here and then I'm going to be calling calling a console log so I can show you the steps that are get, actually getting taken. So this is up connection start. And I'm going to copy that to each step. So I'm going to create also then method and see when is that getting called. So this would be ask server start. And this would be ask server dot then. This would be ask server listener start, and we will have one for the inside here, which is just a listener of the event. So finally, we'll just call one console log here that says this is the final prompt. So the way we supposed to, uh, the way we expect this to happen, uh, first connection will start. Uh, once connection gets start, it would prompt this, call these two functions. So first it would call the listener, it would scan the listener. But it would not go inside of here. It would just scan the listener, make it activate so it listens to this, right? And then it would call ask server. Ask server will call this console log. Uh, then uh, it would go to the function, uh, see the listener at the very end that call back to the client. So it would say, okay, go find this. Once it gets here, they would call this. So finally, when uh, the server is completely done with this task, it would come back to this then method and it prompt this. And then we want it to prompt this. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to set up some breakpoints so we can see how this happens. I'm going to put this one here, one here, one here, here and here. And here. So I'll be going in debug mode. So first we're hitting hub connection start as expected. Now if I click continue, it would start the listener and then it would start the ask server. Then it would call the server. Then of course we are back to the listener. And finally, after this, after the task gets executed, it actually um, calls this that method of the invocation. So let me stop the debugging and go to the regular one. And we can see hub connection start, ask server listener start, ask server start. This is the final prompt, which should not be there ask server listener and then ask server 10. 
So this is not a final prompt. And we thought it would be because it would be at the end, right? So this is when the asynchronous stuff comes into play. And uh, the way we can fix that is simply by adding a async keyword and awaiting this to be completely done. So once that's done, it's the breakpoint. And if we see now, if we refresh this, it says as serverless uh, hub connection start, as serverless restart, dot, 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 until the final one is, this is the final prompt. So it essentially, it awaited all the listening and prompt, uh, the communication to be done, and then prompting this, this is the final prompt. So basically, that's that. I hope that makes sense. If uh, if there's any more questions, please ask in the comments. Thank you for watching.